Hey everyone, um, this is Jenna, and I hope everyone is doing awesome, everyone who is actually watching this video. Um, I personally have been like going back and forth with myself as far as what I wanted to do on my social, um, how I wanted to get in contact with my, my people who actually watch me. And so if you've noticed that over time, I haven't really been going live. So I probably won't be going live because I realized that that part of uh, my career was causing stress on me. And so I've been just faded out. And I know that people have been watching me for a long time and they say, where is Jenna? Oh my gosh, I miss her videos because I'm always talking about health and and things of that nature. So let me let you know, first and foremost, where I am. I'm on my Patreon, which all of the information will be in the description. And if you want to support um, the brand of A Holistic Me or My Holistic Counselor, um, please go there and join the group. And you can join just as low as $10 and you can always upgrade if you would like. Um, but there, um, my followers or my um, patrons there, they get daily um, health uh, information. They get um, exclusive video content. So um, all of my energy has been going into my, my group there um, because I'm older now and I have to basically uh, put my energy into things that are going to work well with me and my brand. And I didn't want to completely just like fade away and act like I'm not um, doing this anymore. I am and I and I feel like you guys need to um, know where I am So I am on patreon and the information will be there. It is not free. It is something that um, You would have to pay for monthly to be connected with that so I have to be honest with that It is not free, but you know nowadays are it are anything free like anything that's worth having You know you have to subscribe to um, so how was that movie that movie that Tyler Perry movie I'm dating this video so you guys know this is a recent video. It's not something I made like five years ago. Because <laughs> you know I'm like famous for, you know, doing that. Or maybe you're not. I don't know. And if you're brand new, please put up a number 81. Okay, I'm not going to tell the movie. But guys, if you have not taken the time to see Tyler Perry's um, A Fall From Grace that is on Netflix please make sure you go ahead and check it out. It is a, it's, it's very good. If you can, if you can get past the wigs, guys, let me talk about the wigs because I am a hairstylist. It is funny to talk about the wig that the guy had on and the wig that, uh, what's her name? Her name is Crystal Fox, um, which is the lead character. I think her name was Grace, of course. And, it, it, you know, it's cool to talk about all of the wigs and things like that, but let's just keep it real. If you are in jail, um, your, your hair is not going to look all nice and everything. And I think it's a timepiece. Okay, so I think the little high top that the guy had on is just to represent the old school. But the old school style is actually coming back. So um, I thought it was pretty cool. I, I really did. Um, but, it, you know, it was a little funny, guys. But if you can get past the wigs, the, the, the movie was awesome. My girl Felicia Rashad was in there. She is a queen. She is so, you know, she did an excellent job. And I just think it was a great movie, guys. It really does. It had so many, um, had so many little messages in there that if you didn't get wrapped up in the fact that, of course, Tyler Perry was in there acting totally different as well. It was not a character that I was, um, used to, but, um, I get it. But guys, I'm not going to tell the movie because I think that's so disrespectful. And um, I hurried up and watched that movie because I know how... I, I just kept seeing all of the hoopla on Facebook. And I said, what is this movie about? I actually watched two things um, over the weekend. I watched, um, of course, A Fall From Grace. And I also watched the... Um, Anth What's his name? Aaron Hernandez. I was about to name him Anthony. But no, Aaron Hernandez, which I've never even heard of Aaron Hernandez. Never even heard of him. I remember watching him because I'm a football girl. I love football. I remember seeing him on the, the field, but I didn't know who he really was. And so my husband and I, we kind of watched that together. And it's so funny. Besides everything they were saying in there, 
it's so funny that the only thing that people really concentrate on is the fact that he was actually good looking, right? But he was a good looking murderer. <laughs> you know, I'm not laughing at that. I'm just saying like, it's crazy how you can look at somebody and you really don't know them. And so you would never know that this man was making all of these plays, making all of this money, making a name for himself on the field, but had a whole different life. You know, Netflix is really showing it up. I mean, they, when Netflix came out years ago, it was off-brand movies. It was movies we've never heard of. And now they are keeping up with the, with the content on there, which is basically what it is all about nowadays. Um, everybody is going live or they're making videos and everyone has their own group of, of, of followers and people who um, join the movement of whatever they're doing. Me, I like to align myself with something that obviously a whole drove of people are not going to talk about health and lifestyle. That's just not what it is. I don't want to tell myself that because telling myself that is telling me that it's a waste of time and it's not true. I think people are um, interested in health and interested in what I'm doing. I just don't, I don't present it enough. And so I am making a pledge to this page, whatever page you're watching this on, that I am going to put out more content and just talk to you guys like you're right here in my space, okay? And I'm just going to talk to you guys and, and peek in because if I don't do this, I'm not going to build anything. And I'm saying this to you guys, but I'm actually saying it to myself because once you say something, it's like a mental contract with whatever you want to do. It's one thing to say you want to do something, and it's another thing to say it, and it's another thing to write it down. And so those are the processes of my life that when I want to do something, it can't just stay in my mind. It cannot just stay in my mind. It has to be verbally said. And also, you can write it down, and it basically makes it uh, known that you're serious about it. And so I have several pages, several entities here on this platform, several entities that I work very hard to put content on. I have a group. I have, it's called The Shade of It All. I have another page called um, Newsroom Break. Um, check it out. I have a whole page called my holistic counselor, which is basically inspiration and things like that. I haven't really been there to really like sell or to tell you guys what I do. And so my business have really been at a standstill, like as far as I'm just, I, I don't know where to go. And so the thing about it is at 38 years old, going on 39, hello, I had to realize social media is where it's at. And so I don't know what this message is for, for anybody who is doing what I do or doing what we all do. We're all family, people who actually give great content and make actually good, a uh, good living off of social media. You have to be serious about it. You also have to take breaks. You also have to not work yourself mad about it. You know what I mean? I see people cutting their hair off. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. She looks awesome and I'm so proud of her because uh, I know she's been going through a whole bunch. Yeah, I'm shotting her out without shotting her out. If you know what I'm talking about, put her in a comment. She's beautiful. And she just recently cut her hair off, and she looks beautiful. She really does. I watch somebody else, and she's doing her thing, and I watch another girl. She's doing her thing. Like, everybody's doing their own thing, and it's awesome. And I just sit back and I watch. I also get inspired off of these young ladies who go live because we all kind of have the same circle of friends, you know. And uh, we all kind of feed off of each other. You did. We do. I used to like shun away from that because I used to do health and all the time and I see other people trying to do what I do and then they don't do it anymore because they, they don't know what to do. Like basically, it's like me coming on here trying to do makeup. I've done it years ago. It did not work out. I put that mess down. My game is hair, health, and beauty. That's what it is and that's what I'm going to do. No, I'm not doing the hair part at the moment. Who knows? Um, what's down the line, but right now, no, I'm not doing the hairstyling, but I love talking about hair. Um, my hair is growing, oh, every day, and I love it. I'm actually, you know, embracing my gray. <laughs> Hello. My grays are trying to come through, and we're all, you know, we're like trying to um, better ourselves, you know, like social media, it's either you get it or you don't, you know, you have to grow, you can't stress yourself out, don't know who this message is for, but you guys all watch me, I'm like the, 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 I feel like I'm like the, the first one who ever did it, I'm gonna drink my tea on that one, 
I feel like I'm the first one here who's ever done it because um, this page was actually one of the first pages that was actually going live and things like that. And so I think our page actually inspired other people to go live. And we've had so many people on this page go live over the years. And uh, we kind of got away with that. You know, we went away from that because things have changed and everyone's doing their own thing. Um, I would love for one day for, you know, people to go and maybe join our other pages. Because we have sister pages as well that I won't be saying during this, this video. But we do have sister pages and we would love people to go live on those other pages to grow that. Here, you know, this page is awesome and it's growing and I, I see the, the action on it. And I, I do appreciate everybody who supports this page. It's awesome. And we work hard to keep the content going. We've been doing this for five years. Five years is a long time um, to be on uh, this uh, journey that we're going on. And I, I, I just got inspired by just watching all of these young people doing their thing. No, I'm not going to go live. It's too much. You know, if anybody's watching this video that actually goes live, you know, you have to understand that you can only do for so much. Going live is so rigorous it is I'm gonna tell you why first and foremost not saying it can't be done because do your thing okay but when we get older um, other things happen in our bodies our hormones and um, health sometimes can can you know, really let me just break it down it's a mental thing if you have anxiety or nerves about standing in front of people you're gonna have anxiety or nerves um, doing this on live camera just like me like I have a little bit of nerves now because I'm pre-recording this but I know somebody is going to watch this and I hope that my hair looks good and I hope that my facial expressions are okay I hope my voice is coming through clear I don't know until I listen to this later um but yeah um it's a lot of it is a lot to be um the, the the center of attention so everybody who is more watchers than doers and so everyone who's viewing this more than likely when you're viewing you're not probably a person who is a content provider uh, me myself I only watch what I'm not content providing you can't do both I can't watch somebody and do it myself so I know the I know how to do it from both ends you know what I mean like I know how to be the, the watcher and I know what the watchers looking for and I also know what goes through the mind of a content provider and I know what they go through so I'm kind of um, I think I'm special in that way and so when I'm on the other side meaning I'm not making the video I'm watching a video I want content that's fun I want to learn something I don't want stress like I don't want to know that the person who's making videos is going through stress like it makes me cry I don't watch you to cry I don't want you to get angry and I don't watch you to fight your battles I just sit there to just get entertained now of course the comments are great I do watch I do read the comments and some people oh my gosh you have to know like some people are just there to take you off of your swag and so you can't get distracted you have to understand people are there because they might feel a certain way because you are doing something that they feel like they may never be able to do quite frankly that's how it works and so you have to understand to be on this side of being a content provider is a blessing like somebody's actually listening to you i was listening to um i i watched sway I don't know if you guys watch Sway on YouTube, um, Sway's Universe or whatever, and he actually had the cast of Tyler Perry's um, a, Grace, a Fall from Grace. And Felicia Rashad said, you know, sometimes social media gives people a voice that really doesn't need it. And so that is true. I mean, that is a huge turn, turn off of being on social media and watching people on social media because everyone is not trained. Everybody does not know that, what you say can either help somebody or hinder them. And so me being the person I've always been since I was a little girl, I've always been a person who wanted to help people. And so when I make videos, I want to help you guys. I want to inspire you guys to do something great and do, to do something better. I don't want to inspire you guys to do anything that I do that's negative, which is getting angry or being sensitive or telling you every little thing that I'm going through. Like, I mean, it's okay if you just want to be the bearer of bad news all day. It's okay if you want to just bring Bring down your whole following, but that's not what I want to do. I want to uplift my following. I want to uplift people. 
And so I don't want to be doom and gloom. Everybody has their, their days where they have bad days. But I don't think that we log on to social media to basically listen to everyone's woes. Not saying be fake and not saying not be transparent, but some things, even the Bible says, we don't need to know about. And so all the things that I've been going through and things that I've viewed in the last few weeks, you guys don't need to know about that. What I do is I take a sabbatical and I just take a gut darn just break and recollect myself. And then all of a sudden, I just got this eureka moment and say, girl, why don't you just make a regular video like you're just talking to people? No, you're not able to go live. No, you can't interact in that way anymore because you've, you've kind of disconnected from that. And I think I've elevated from that. Live is so organic. But yet sometimes it works against you sometimes. Because if you want to get a message out there, it's too, many, it's too many distractions. First and foremost, you're worried about the views. You're worried about how often someone is going to share. You're, you're worried about who, what's going to, you know, if somebody says something out the way. Because back when I first started doing this, if you said something out the way to me, I'm going to say something back. And it ruined my whole career in this live video. I should, I should have been so much further in this um, if I didn't have so many setbacks and so many things that happened. But I was totally a newbie. And so when you're a newbie at something, either you're going you're gonna to mess up. And so that's what I did. I messed up. And so now I'm trying to recoup that back. I'm trying to recoup my strength back in this industry of um, media content. I escaped over to YouTube, and I do have a great YouTube channel, uh, which is a food channel, which is called I Love Food Extreme. And if you want to see uh, my husband and I eat some great home cooking, you can go over there and subscribe to it that, um, now if you would like. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically where I'm at as far as, as far as, I hope this gets to people, you know. You know, if you share it, great. Um, I hope this gets to the actual people um, that actually watch me. Guys, as far as, like, how things are running right now is that you have to like the page, you have to follow the page, and you also have to say you want to see us first. And so if I want to dedicate some, some new videos to this platform that you are actually watching this on, I have to have time. And I also want you guys to actually get the um, notifications about when I post. Now, one thing about Patreon is you're going to get the notifications because you're paying. <laughs> it's just how it works. You know what I mean? You're paying for it, so you're going to get all the notifications to your email once. And I post things that's specifically for health. Um, I post things that is um, specifically to health. So basically, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to deal with fibroids, if you're trying to deal with high blood pressure, I literally give you um, holistic scripts. You know what scripts are, right? Yeah. Um, holistic scripts to, to get that rolling. If you're looking for beautiful skin, I, I talk about that. I post things. I do videos. I do podcasts. And I also do posts because sometimes I don't have time to always make these videos. You know, videos can be overly... Um, it's a lot of work on anybody to make a video for every little thing. That You know, that's why if you notice YouTube, YouTube has a community board where you can just post. And that was basically to understand that everybody can't make a video every day. And so you guys have to ingest what type of um, content someone gives you no matter how they give it to you. A lot of people put too much pressure on you. Where are you? Are you going live? Are you going live? And for anybody who is going through that, like... As far as, you know, you're struggling with, oh, I can only communicate to my people if I'm live. That's not true because that's a setup and you're going to burn out. You need to post. You need to let them know, this is where I'm at. These are my other social media platforms that you can catch me. You can catch me on my paid platform, which is Patreon. You can catch me on YouTube. No, I don't have an Instagram. I'm old school. I'm not into Instagram like that. And I darn sure don't. I'm not into Snapchat. You know, I, it stops at Facebook and YouTube for me at the moment. Um, because that's what works for me. Oh, and Patreon. Patreon is awesome as well. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's where everything has been. Um, I just got inspired and I feel like the little bit of people who did watch me, they're like probably going off somewhere else. <laughs> and so I, I feel like I have to constantly like build, you know, as much as you want to just stray away from this big platform that I'm on right now, honey, this is where it's at. 
You know what I mean? And so you just have to, in, you know, embrace it and get better at it. So pre-recordings is where it's at for me. I think it's better. I'm, it's less distracting. I can basically get my content out and say what the heck I want to talk about, which is basically, I guess this is like a, a, um, introduction video. I had, I had no subject or anything that I was particularly going to talk about during this but yeah that's basically where i'm at now let me introduce you to what i do i am a holistic counselor i've been doing a, doing that a long time i'm also a senior cosmetologist so i know how to grow hair how to help people grow hair also get to the root of the problem you know if uh if you will um of why you're not growing hair and things of that nature um hair is very important right and it's your crown and glory it is basically um what makes us um, proud men and women go through hair loss and men want to have a, f a head full of hair too They don't want to be receding and things like that And so the information will be beneficial for both. It's also beneficial for children, too um, So parents, you know, you have to you know get good good information and good things like that So you can basically help your children not go through hair loss because once hair loss happens unfortunately um, it's, it, I'm not saying it can't be reversed, but it's tough to reverse it. And so like the old people, older people and old school people would say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So you want to basically go into um, everything in a preventative way instead of, oh, I'm doing this from behind or I'm doing this um, because I have to, you know, do it because I'm sick or anything like that. You don't want that. And so the group is not just for people who have issues. Yes. A lot of the members there have issues. Of course, if you have pre-existing issues, of course, you're going to join my Patreon at Holistic Me because you want to get answers and you don't want to do anything detrimental to yourself to, 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 to get rid of the problem or get rid of the symptoms. And so that's where it's at. But I encourage you, even if you're, if you're not particularly in a, a, an emergency situation, you can also join the group. Or if you know people um, that um, are... Um, dealing with certain things like fibroids, high blood pressure, endometriosis, um, infertility, weight loss issues, autoimmune disease, anything like that, you can also let them know about this group and, um, you know, share it with them and maybe they can join, things like that. Um, but yeah, one thing that a lot of people generally are um, suffering with, of course, is the high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a big issue. It's something that I go through. It's something my family, I have family members actually who have low blood pressure, which is just as bad, just like diabetes, high sugars and low sugars and low sugars are actually worse. But yeah, um, I have different remedies for that. Things that is going to help you get your numbers down and keep them down. Um, the thing about being a holistic person is you get to the root of the problem. You're not just dealing with the symptoms. A lot of symptoms that we go through on a daily basis sometimes mimics other issues. And so headaches could mean a lot of things. Heavy cycles, heavy periods can mean a lot of things, not just one. So that's why you want to get to the root of the problem instead of just dealing with symptoms because symptoms mimic other things. Sometimes you may think you have something and you really, really, you really don't. Or sometimes you think you don't have something and you really do. So you really want to go ahead and get the root to the root of the problem so you don't go through um, certain things. So that's basically what my videos will be about. Don't know how often I will be posting on here. I'm going to try to post at least once a week, guys. Once a week, you'll, you know, look out for a video where I'm going to be talking about something inspirational, something that has to do with health, or something that has to do with some current events or whatever. Like, at the beginning of this video, I talked about those, that movie um, from Tyler Perry, and um, the, um, I want to call the man Anthony, but his, his name is Aaron, Aaron Hernandez. I mean, ladies, isn't that unfortunate? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, isn't it unfortunate that that's had happened to all of those people and things like that? Um, oh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> don't get caught up on looks. <laughs> if you having a problem with, with you know, uh, choosing a man, watch that story. And then maybe you should go out and see a Shaba Ranks or something or somebody, you know, like a Flavor Flav. You know, learn how to love people from within and not from the outside. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and look out for more. Make sure you thumbs up this video and comment. Let me know what's up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.